Hello, this is Space News with Julia. The first space launch system rocket rolled out to its launch pad here March 17 for a countdown dress rehearsal ahead of its long delayed launch this summer on the uncrewed Artemis 1 mission. A crawly transporter carrying a mobile launch platform with a space launch system on it left the vehicle assembly building here at approximately 5.35 pm Eastern Time. It traveled the 6.8 km to Launch Complex 39B, arriving there around 4 am March 18. With Space Launch System now on the pad, NASA's team will prepare for a countdown test called a wet dress rehearsal. That work will start with connecting the vehicle to interfaces at the pad and go through tests of various systems. That will culminate in the final test when the space launch system core stage is filled with liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen propellants and goes through a countdown that stops at about T10 seconds just before the core stage's engine would ignite. The fueling process takes 8 hours versus 2 and a half for the shuttle because of the larger tanks and the addition of an upper stage. The WDR test is scheduled for April 3rd. About a week and a half later, the vehicle will be rolled back to the vehicle assembly building for any corrective work from the pad tests and for final preparation, then rolled back out to the pad for the Artemis 1 launch no earlier than June. This was Space Daily News. Stay tuned with me. And don't forget to subscribe.